All right, so Teddy just learned that he will be getting laughing gas, and he will also get a needle. As you can see, all of these different contraptions are now attached to him. They're monitoring his heart rate, they're monitoring his pulse, and they're going to monitor his blood pressure. What we will be betting on is to see how far backwards he will be able to count once this anesthesia is injected into him. All right, so we're going to start. straw into your vein. This will allow me to give you some medicine. All right, so this is going there. We're going to clean the area with some alcohol. All right. Throw this in the trash. Now, one, two, three, poke. some tape on it to keep it in place so that your IV will not come out during the procedure. And that part is basically done. Wow, quickest way, quickest time starting an IV. Now, I promise this is the worst thing I'm going to do to you out of the whole experience. It's almost time to start counting though. Gotta be quick. There we go. We got your little tube in your arm. The needle's gone. There are no needles. You can take this tourniquet off. Put it right there. Now, we're almost ready for you to start counting. Some white milky stuff. I'm going to put this in your IV line, and this is what's going to drift you off to sleep. Start counting. 100, 99, 98. 96, 97, 95, 94. I can see you getting groggy because you kind of messed up on one of the numbers. 91. Okay, he gone, y'all. Now it's time to begin the procedure. Tooth number 19, which is a maxillary or mandibular tooth. It is a mandibular tooth for show. And we are just about ready to pull this up because this is going to be our sterile field. numb him up now. Even if a patient is receiving conscious sedation, we still will use a local anesthetic. Make sure that that area is good. Now 
ready to start drilling. His vitals are normal. We can set our suction down on our sterile field. We can place the drill on the tray. Put it underneath your breathing tube so we can get to it easily. And now, we're going to check if our drilling has been effective. All right. I think we can use a little more drilling on the slow speed mode. So we're going to take our drill and the slow speed does not have as much friction, so it does not require the high speed suction. There we go. So that's fine, absolutely normal. And we're going to check the effectiveness of our drilling. That's just okay. And now, we're going to put some special etchant in the tube. This etchant will make the tooth surface rough so that the filling will not fall out as easily. We do this with a little syringe with some blue goo, as you call it. And now, we're going to harden the etch using our isolite. This isolite is good because it hardens using blue ultraviolet rays. That is absolutely fine. The filling is ready to be placed into the tooth. And we use our composite syringe to place the filling. Kind of scrape a little bit of the excess filling material off. And harden with our isolite. And we're almost done. We just need to polish the filling off with our special polishing angle tip in our drill. So I put that in there, hold it in my dominant hand. Put this on our sterile field. And this is all finished. Now we just need to check his bite. bite down and he's ready to be woken up and taken home. We just need to let him recover in our office for a while. I'm going to give you some medicine through the IV to kind of start waking him up a little bit. Teddy? Hey, Teddy, can you start opening your eyes for me? Can you start waking up? You're in the operating room. You just got your filling. What's that making noise? 
Oh, that beeping noise? That's just your heart rate, remember? Now, before you went to sleep, I hooked you up to the computer, and I put all these stickers on you. Well, that has to still stay on and monitor your heart rate. This is your sterile field. I'm going to take it off so that all you have is a blanket. You still have an IV. Remember when I put this in? That's that little poke that introduced that little straw into your vein. That's what that was. That was to give you all your medicine. I'm going to put some water in to keep it flowing. Some very clean salt water called saline. And I'm also going to put a narcotic in there so that you won't be in any pain. Because if you are in pain, I'll have to give you some morphine. Are you in any pain? Still numb? I know, your, your mouth might still feel a little funny. That's because I gave you some medicine right in that area, right after you went to sleep. And that medicine was supposed to numb your mouth or make it feel kind of frozen. And that's so that you wouldn't feel me working. Calm down, this, this thing's just gonna squeeze your arm because it's taking your blood pressure. It'll be done in just a sec. Did you know this was taking your blood pressure even while you were sleeping? That's why we keep this on you the whole time to make sure that your blood pressure is stable while you're under the anesthetic. You want to say hi to the camera? Say hi, camera. Hi, I just had surgery. I know, you did a very good job. Here's the machine that was giving you your sleep medicine. All right, y'all, this is the laughing gas machine. We also have a sleeping agent on here as well. Have our monitor, heart rate, blood pressure, respirations, and oxygen. Here's our ventilator. And there's some fluids. All right, pretty good stuff, right? Pretty good stuff? All right, say goodbye. Wave goodbye. All right.